Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to draw a white-tailed buck, and this is a request by Bradley. We're going to start off with an oval for the body of the buck, and then another oval for the rump, and an oval for the neck. Then we'll mark the head with a, a circle, and it's fairly small, and a smaller circle here for the end of the snout. And then the ears will stick off to the side, so we'll draw ovals to indicate where those will be, and a swooping line across for the line of the antlers. And now we're marking the legs. So we're going to bring the front leg down straight, and that's going to take us to the knee, and then going down to the ground, and then the leg from behind, same idea. Now following the line of the rump, we're going to bring the shape toward the back for the top part of the back leg. This will take a little work to get it just right. Not my eraser smudgy, I'll have to use my white one. It's important not to leave smudge lines. So I'm just going to work this until I'm happy with it. Coming down from here, if you look up the the inlay picture, you can see there's some white by the tail. So that's where that top line came from. I'm just going to get these shapes the way I like them. Sketching until I'm happy and showing what the back leg will be. Alright, and then the tail comes from the top of the rump and it's got two different colors the white and the black brown. And now there's some bumps on the head. And the eyes, I'm just going to draw the outline of the cheekbones and the snout. So we're starting to fill this in. It's going to be nostrils and there's the mouth opening. The eyes are going to be just below the ears. And just make an arch over the top and then another arch underneath. And this deer is looking straight at me, so the eyes are level. I'm just going to make an indication here of where those bumps will be. I think it was too high before. Now that I've got the eyes drawn in, I can see the proportions better. So I'm just going to bring the, the forehead in proportion a bit better. So the first piece of antler is going to show up just above the bump on the head. I bet there are names for these things, but I don't know what they are. But now I'm just filling in some more antler shapes here. And you can see that there are three ends, three tip points. Here I am doing the smaller bump. My hand will move soon. Alright, so now this one's coming in front. It's the, it's the one in the foreground. And I'll show that later with my final lines. And let's just make this third one a little more visible. And make the third one back here. Alright, so now back to the head. I'm going to find the ear shape. Every detail you make helps to bring your animal to life. I'm just going to indicate here where the color changes are in the ears. There's a bit of white and a bit of brown. And the face has some color variation as well. White around the eyes and then browns everywhere else. There's a little bit of white down here underneath the nose as well on the chin white spot just underneath. Alright, so now I'm going to draw the neck coming down. And a buck has a fairly strong neck. Wider than you'd think. Alright, coming down the front. I'm going to mark in the lines for the front leg. This 
is a fairly realistic drawing. Some of the drawings I do are more cartoonish, but I think if you're going to draw a white-tailed buck, it should look like a buck, not a cartoon. So now we're going to start to work the shape of his back. The oval that I drew before was just an indication of where it would be, but now I'm going to start to make lines that I like the look of. And it'll take a bit of refining. That's why I'm using pencil and eraser. And here we'll go over the tail. When you're making your sketch marks, you can tell if you like them or you don't. If something's too narrow or too wide, just take the time to erase it. Try again. You can see here I'm making Mine's coming down from the rump section and then towards the hoof. And so this back end gives me a guideline for where the back leg will start. And then the belly comes under. This will be, I'll make some hash marks here. I think I'll include those with my pen marks later to show the color variation. All right. So this buck is substantial size. So again, I'm coming lower. This line is swooping in line with the back and in line with the front. So it needs to look anatomically correct. All right, and then the white belly I'm just going to indicate it here a little bit. Comes up from the leg down towards the front of the chest. And now the back leg uh, from the front of the body, from the, the far side. put this back, other back leg, in, standing a little bit to the front. I think that will look more natural. Okay, it's just going to fix this a little bit, so I'm perfectly happy with the shape. So we don't always get it right the first time. I'm just going to clean this up a bit so I can decide if I'm liking the shapes or not. Sometimes when there are too many sketch lines, they're distracting. You can use your eraser anytime you like. Okay, so in here I'm just going to indicate some of the, the shading from his muscular torso. And there'll be some shadows down here. And some shadows down here. Just making fine little hash mark lines. If you're not watching this video in HD, it's probably too late to tell you now, but you should be, because all these small lines I'm making would not be very visible if you're not, if you're watching it in a lower quality resolution. All right, I'm starting to like this. It's really coming together. And you can tell that the colors are going to make a really big difference too once we add our browns. So the next step is going to be to go over this with a marker and I'm going to use my fine line sharpie because this is a more realistic picture and I need a marker that works. This one does. Alright so we'll just outline carefully around all of the edges speed this up a little. You can watch me go by quickly and then pause it afterwards to see the placement of all these lines because obviously I'm not tracing over every single line. Some of them are sketch marks. But I am doing some fine little hash lines just inside the ear where I'll be showing the color changes. to mark in the eyes and the nose and a little glint in the eye, drawing a circle there. And then all the outlines. It's 
a little easier in this part. It's more straightforward. I'll use my marker just to fill in the blackness of the eyes and the blackness of the nose. So those are standing out features. I'm not coloring them in fully, just mostly. I'll come back over that with crayon after. All right, now it's time to pull away all of those sketch marks with my eraser and reveal. going to erase very darkly there at the belly because I do want to sense where that white mark will come through. So I'm going to start with my white crayon. I like to work with my lightest colors first just to get them put on underneath. I can't go back over dark later if I've if I haven't put white. So I'm just with a really firm pressure I'm putting white in all the areas of the buck where I want it to be the lightest. And it's true that I will color over this with some gray or some black, but I want to make sure that the white is there first. So you really can't see this, but now making the shadow, I'll go over it with gray in his belly and some shadows here. And now I'm going to use orange in the antlers. And orange is not the color the antlers are, but I do want it to, I want them to stand out a little bit. This, this part of his body has a more, an orangey brown color. So now I've got my brown crayon and I'm going to go over all the orange. We're not really going to see orange at all. Using a fair bit of pressure in here because these ears are fairly dark. And now fill in the face. Being careful not to go over the white. This takes a little time. And you really start to see. white area under the chin. And now the easy parts. Just filling in the bigger body section here with a quick coat of brown. This is not my final brown. I'm going to come back over it a little more after I've got it all filled in. This establishes the brown. I'll be putting some gray over these hooves as well, so they're not actually brown hooves, but there is a darkness to them. All right, so now over my hash marks, I'm just filling in some more shadow lines and going darker around the edges, just to give a sense of variable color. And the tail of the buck has actually got a black end and tip here, so I'm gonna use my black crayon to add some color putting it fairly dark in this part. And then I'm actually going to use black just to show more shadow and give a bit more depth to the, the shadows. I'm going to come back over this with brown again though, so these are not going to be as harsh when I'm done. I'm not pressing very hard here, just giving a gentle shadow effect in all the areas where the light is less predominant. And in and around the face, just a little bit darker. Not too much here, but I'll fill in darker now on the eyes and the nose.
It's looking good. And a little bit around the edges of the ears, just to make them pop a bit more. Nice. Same thing in the antlers, just a hint of dark shadows. This was a fairly challenging suggested project. If you're drawing a white-tailed buck for the first time, you, you might not be happy with your first attempt. You might want to try a few times. I always get better with practice. Alright, so now I'm back to my brown and I'm pretty happy with where the shadows are, so I'm going to start adding thicker color here just to really bring out the velvety coat of this buck. And you can put as much color on here as you like. Leaving some texture, or not at all. Darken up the antlers. And now I can see that I can add more shadows. Now that I'm fully darkened, I'm going to put quite a bit of gray over this white. And the nice thing about there being white underneath is that the gray is not going to stick to the paper very much. So I don't have to worry about making this too dark. Layering with crayons is a really, a really advanced coloring technique. Look at that. There it is, my white-tailed buck. I hope you've enjoyed watching me draw this buck today, and if you have a suggestion for me, please let me know. I'm always interested in finding out what my viewers would like to draw. And if you like this video, please click like, and if you would comment below, I would love to read your comments, and of course if you're not subscribed already, and you made it this far in my video, I'm sure you'll want to watch again, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I do have a fair number of followers on Instagram who have been so lovely as to post pictures of their work and tag me in them so that I can see their finished projects. And I really enjoy that. So if you get a chance, find me on Instagram, take a picture of your art, and tag me in it.